Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be cooking up a meatless meal. It is creamy tortellini soup with kale. It is so delicious and I can't wait to share the recipe with you. Today's video is a collaboration, so please be sure to check out the playlist for the other channels taking part. Okay guys, let's get started. First, we're gonna take a small onion and do a dice. Here I'm showing you how to do it. You're gonna take half an onion and you're gonna slice down vertically and then you're gonna turn it and slice it horizontally. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just slice it down, which will then create our small dice. Now it's time to chop some of my favorite stuff, garlic. I love garlic. There are so many things you can make with garlic. I'm just giving it a rough chop here. Next, I'm gonna heat up some butter in my pan and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chopped onions. We're gonna let them simmer a little bit. We wanna get that aroma to come out and the flavors to get intermingled with the butter. So now I'm just gonna grab my garlic and that is gonna go in next. Okay, so we're just gonna give that a little bit of a mix. Get it from the edges so that it all can get cooked. Now we're going to add in our flour. Now what we're doing here is creating a roux. A roux is a mixture of flour and butter and that helps to thicken the broth or anything that you want to make. So it could be a cream soup or a sauce and you would usually start with this. So now I've gone ahead and let my roux cook a little bit. I'm going to go add my crushed tomatoes in. Give it a little bit of a stir. Combine it all. Next I'm going to add in my beef stock. Now I like to reuse the cans so that when I add the water to the can, it helps get out the tomato product that is left in the can and then also my beef stock mix. Now I'm gonna add in the remainder of the water that is needed for the soup and I'm gonna add in some Italian seasoning. Next, I'm gonna dump in my tortellini. Now, I'm just using cheese tortellini. You could use meat if you wanted, but of course, then it would not be a meatless meal. Next, I'm gonna add in my salt, and I'm gonna add in some black pepper. So now I'm just mixing it all together, and next, we're gonna bring it to a boil. That way, all the tortellini can get cooked up and the flavor get infused inside them. Now we're gonna add in our frozen kale. You can add in spinach or any other kind of vegetables that you like in yours. This soup is very versatile like that. Next, we're gonna add in heavy whipping cream. This will give it a nice creamy taste. All right, it's time for the Parmesan cheese. Once that's all added in, give it a stir, and we are almost done. It smells so good. Okay, you guys, it's ready. I'm just ladling it in the bowl and I can't wait to dive into this. This is great with a nice crusty bread. I'm just sprinkling some Parmesan on top. Do you see that spot next to my bowl? Yeah, I can't help but make a mess. Thanks so much for stopping by my kitchen today. If you're new here, I am Mary. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And as always, we all have to eat, so it might as well be delicious. Have a great day, guys.